never slow up No, I don't take shit I've got no love for the fake Welcome to a brand new Definity Peel podcast. My name is Alex, and today we have probably one of the cutest projects on the internet computer right now. And it's, of course, Dogfinity. Guys, thank you very much for accepting our invitation and uh, coming on the show. How's it going? You are early. Join Dogfinity. Thank you for having us. We're very good. Very excited to be here talking about Dogfinity and Definity and the, in- the internet computer. So yeah, glad um, to be here. Thank you so much for inviting us. You know, it's super good to be here. Nice to have you guys. And uh, although you're like one of the newer projects, like your marketing is on point because on one hand we saw you approach like big projects and ICP personalities and you guys hosted a Twitter space with them. And then by looking on your Twitter, we saw the Dogfinity poster campaign and the are you ready quote. Can you please tell us more about yourself, like your team and your background? Of course. So we are early dogs above all. We, are, we believe that we are here early to the internet computer, so early to Web3. And uh, we have a big team who has been active in crypto for a while. The team is now around six people. Uh, you know, we have, we have a team which has been working super well together. Um, we are, some of us knew, you know, previously for a long time. Um, we have around three people who have worked with consulting. One did, you know, super top tier management consulting. Two others, including myself, innovation consulting, working with some of the biggest companies around the world and, and helping them spot trends and, and get a, a jump on it. Also, you know, about three of us have VC and finance experience as well. Some of us have co-founded together around um, two NGOs, which total now about 5,000 people in direct impact. And um, our dev team, of course, we we have Ethereum experience and also DeFi, uh, as well as our top tier designer, um, which is super passionate about the project and is bringing new ideas all the time. So, you know, we feel like we're working with an all-star team and, and really believe in what we're doing here. So there is definitely like a lot more going on uh, behind the cute dogs uh, that you guys have, you know, as an NFT collection. You played the are you early or you are early quote when you just joined. What is that about? Yes. Yeah, so we believe that we are early to the Internet computers or into Web3. Uh, what this means is we are here. The Internet computer is still very small. Like we know that, uh, for example, in NFTs, there's only 11,000 unique buyers. So it's, it's a very small ecosystem. And we don't see a lot of people talking about the internet computer through Twitter and through the news. But we believe that we have a great architecture, a great technology, a lot of promising dApps that can come to this ecosystem and have the potential to onboard more people. But uh, right now we are small, so we need to grow this ecosystem so that we can un- unlock all the benefits and potential that can come out of being here early. and. Not only this yeah. means like financial potentials, but also to be able to see all the things that we can build. And maybe one of the most promising blockchains that uh, can deliver the Web3 dream. To piggyback on that, uh, the recent news that we've been getting from other blockchains, you know, uh, halts, outages and, and, and so on, have really shown how uh, there is need for, you know, better infrastructure, more decentralization. Um, and when we look at this, what causes a barrier to entry right now it is in itself this lack of visibility and awareness. And and we, we saw that there is a big vacuum there and there's so much potential behind it. And all we need to do is, is kind of, you know, do what needs to be done, which is burst the bubble um, in the sense that we need to come out of the echo chambers. We need to speak uh, to people outside our bubble, our ICP bubble. and. Um, bring this idea that uh, you know there is there is light at the end of the tunnel, uh, and, and you have the situation in which there's like amazing technology, uh, and we're in that early stage right now. Um, when you look at the proportional size and and, and potential ratio here, totally, I, and I think that internet computer will be one of the top coins in the future. And it's just not trending right now. People people hate it now at like $13, $14, but they will love it when it's going to be like in the hundreds. And then people will be like, ah, oh, you guys are lucky that you've been, uh, you know, exposed to the internet computer back in the day. Yeah, we're going to say we are early. We are early dogs. That's what yeah. we were. Definitely. So why did you guys choose the ICP ecosystem to develop your project? Our project is about the internet computer ecosystem, right? We started studying blockchains a while ago, so got 
very deep into it in, in late 2020. But quickly, we saw the lack of capacity of most blockchains, their inability to scale. They end up hitting the, the blockchain trilemma, right? And the internet computer is possibly the only blockchain or decentralized network that can solve this blockchain trilemma that is infinitely scalable, that can host dApps from end to end. So not only this allows for you to build true decentralized applications from end to end, because the front end is on chain, the back end is on chain, but also allows for developers to have less environment complexities while they're building. And because of the internet computer brought a lot of development innovations and a, hu a huge improvement for developer experience compared to, to other blockchains, right? So we are very passionate about the internet computer and we wanted to see it grow. We wanted to see it achieve its potential and we believe in the architecture, but uh, there are also network effects in technology, network effects in crypto. And we know that uh, blockchain is still a, a, an early ecosystem, right? And we don't want to see these other blockchains grow too big, even though they have a, an inferior architecture and the internet computer stay behind. So. We decided, okay, we need to act. We need to start a movement. And the best way to build a movement is with a strong community and strong digital communities are born with NFTs. Not only you can generate value for your holders, but you can also build an awesome community that is helping to improve the ecosystem, helping to impact people and to provide change. There's so much a small team can make in that sense, right? We, we could have all the money in the world to, to do marketing, but still, uh, if you have people coming on board, uh, you have a lot more power and reach. And right now, this is what is at the core. You know, we, we've been discussing internally how ICP is still very small in the uh, in Asia and, and other communities. And uh, now that we have also several uh, ambassadors and, and volunteers helping us, you know, translate and, and get, getting this across because what, what plagues ICP is also its strength, right? It's so, it, it has so much power, but behind this power, you know, you, you need a little bit of complexity to kind of uh, deliver things and this makes it uh, less approachable. So you really need to boil this down and, and kind of make it approachable for people, which is, is kind of like the focus here. All of us, you know, projects need to be working together in order to build like the internet computer because similar to what the internet was before it began, it was nothing and it was the people building on the internet that created the internet of today. And I think it's the same for the internet computer. Yeah, exactly. But even in this case of the internet, like there's this uh, old story about the different protocols. And some people say that the one of the proposed protocols had a stronger architecture, but uh, TCP IP, which is the current protocol that we use today for the internet was actually much quicker to gather adoption in the market. So that's why it survived and became the dominant one, right? And then some people point to the flaws of this protocol, but the thing is they managed to go to the market like sooner to, to spread the, the adoption much quicker. So, so that's why they become the dominant. I mean, they took advantage of the network effects. So that's why we are working so hard to create awareness of the internet computer right now. We are early yeah. to the race of the, the decentralized networks of Web3. We really like to discuss the Cardano use case. When you look at them, they don't have such breakthrough technology, uh, but the community behind them is huge. And what is most interesting to me is that they really managed to connect their roadmap with goals that uh, anybody, even if they're not too tech savvy, can get behind. You know, their educational and, and you know African roadmaps to like bring people on board there to have three do do the tech jump. You know. It's, it's something that it's very easy to convey as a worldwide news headline or something like that. And we need to bring the same, you know, approach and, and parallels to, to ICP. Yeah. Simplify the, the terms, the jargons. I think we saw a few people like wanting to see more simplified terms for a while now, especially since there are some components of the architecture that are very similar to other blockchains, but uh, they have completely different names. So people just take too long to understand what they mean. And sometimes this can generate friction in user adoption. Yeah, that's a very good point. You guys mentioned uh, a movement behind Dogfinity. Could you give us more details about what this movement is? Yeah, so our movement is for the internet computer and thus for Web3. And we see this process happening in two parts. First is to grow the internet computer by generating awareness of it. And second is to strengthen it. So the first part is to grow awareness. How do we do this? 
we make viral videos. We start partnerships. We do sponsorships of influencers, of people who have newsletters, YouTube channels. We put our brand out there through billboards, through posters. We partner with universities. We create a very strong and tight community that starts raiding places, polls on Twitter, other discords. We get our name out there. We get the internet computer name out there. We help promote the events that are happening inside the hackathons, the boot camps, the amazing dApps in our ecosystem. We go to conferences just like we did a, a few weeks ago, talking with the CEO of some crypto exchanges, crypto ETFs, and we show them discover this strict open chat so that they can see the potential of the technology. And they start thinking, hey, this is an opportunity I'm going to start building there. It's still small. This means I can be early. This is part number one. Part number two is creating educational and informative content to the internet computer ecosystem. So for example, helping people how to make their own research when studying about NFTs, DeFi and which tokens they should buy once we start having a DeFi boom, how they can quickly start using the dApps and, and just bringing them information and content, updating them about the DeFi markets the NFT markets and, and so on. So for example, that's similar to, to what we did a few weeks ago with the Twitter space, which is bringing some clarity about some topics. Most people in the internet computer know that uh, we need a token standard, but it's still not very clear for many, how is the process going, right? So we brought Bob, we brought SP Maximalist and a few other guys, and they told us, hey, there's a technical working group on a token standard, here's the situation. Here's my thoughts about it. This way we can mobilize people around, bring clarity so that we can start like solving our problems and educating our community so we can strengthen it. And you pretty much made a lot of friends on the internet computer already. And I think pretty much everybody knows uh, about Dogfinity. Why did you guys decide to have a dog for uh, an NFT? We love dogs. I mean, humans love dogs. They have been our friends for almost 30,000 years now. And even though I think we evolved from apes, I think we like dogs better. So just an example, we have a, the, the girlfriend of a, one of the team members has her dog tattoo on her arm. So we decided, okay, how do we build an NFT that everyone likes? And we love cute dogs. So we made cute dogs for Dogfinity. And not only that, you know, dogs help lead the way. They bring awareness to things when, you know, they're barking, hey, look at this. And I feel like that kind of speaks to what we're trying to do here. And I think dogs also have the viral factor because like there are so many dog coins out there like Dodge, Shiba and whatnot. And uh, that also helps your brand. Yeah, exactly. That, that's something that uh, we thought about because they are easily recognizable as well and easily recognizable as NFTs if you do animal NFTs, right? So that people could quickly realize that we are NFTs and because sometimes we are creating campaigns and trying to generate awareness and people might be confused. Okay, what is this community all about? Um, but uh, our NFTs are in the center of our movement. But our, our dogs are not just any dogs as well. They are early dogs. They, they are dogs that decided yeah. to move to the internet computer and build their future there. Totally. And I want to congratulate you guys for the marketing uh, push that you guys did uh, over the past few months. So, uh, no, I don't take sh I got no love. Can we go a little bit into that, like the, the thing with the posters? Can you run me through the process there? Yeah, thank you. First of all, I think the posters were both to bring people from the streets. So, for example, we went to Times Square and put Dogfinity and the Internet Computer logo on a billboard over there showing it to thousands of people crossing the streets. Yeah, we, we were super hyped about that. Um, it really helped make it true, you know. Um, it's, it's another instance in which we're really seeing Web3, especially Internet Computer, which hasn't been getting, uh, as we've been saying throughout this whole talk, is it needs more awareness. Yeah, so we went to the streets, to Times Square, put a billboard of the Internet Computer and Dogfinity there. We went to top universities in the US, in Europe, put our posters there, there so that we can build uh, upcoming Web3 entrepreneurs or students studying computer science or future developers, the, the future builders that will probably be the ones who help build Web3. We also started supporting people so that they start doing the same. So we had community members now going to their universities, putting flyers 
all across the world, essentially. We've done this on a few continents now. We are operating also in the streets, but also on, let's say, the current Web2, which is YouTube. We launched the Coin Bureau video addressing Coin Bureau's video on the internet computer, where, where he states a lot of incorrect stuff. And essentially, it's a video with a huge number of views. His video has, I think, close to 700,000 people who watch his video. He paints a very bad picture of the internet computer and leaves most people, if you read the comments of that video, most people are saying, okay, I'm not going to touch this thing. But most of his arguments are just incorrect or just like false statements. So we decided that we needed to address that. And at the same time, like creating content that has the ability to go viral and start uh, attracting crypto users or people who are new to crypto to Dogfinity and to the internet computer. And I think it's great that you guys included your follower base into this uh, marketing stuff that you did, having them put posters up with your QR code and whatnot. And I think that's, that's great that you did that. You know, if you have ideas, if people have ideas, that's something we really try and get on board. After we did some of the posters, they said, oh, take a poster to Meta. Uh, right, Facebook. We actually went to, to Facebook, to Meta, but uh, you need a badge to get in. It's not open to the public. And so this guy was saying, ah, because Zuckerberg is paranoid about his security. I actually would imagine you guys, uh, you know, you could like fake a badge and just go there and for the lols and just put it there. Yeah, and get arrested. No. <laughs> Uh, immigrants get arrested. <laughs> maybe, maybe next time, maybe next time. Actually, I saw a video. If you have like a ladder with you, you can go, you can go in anywhere. We should do that, right? I'm curious because nowadays every project, you know, promises this and that and everything else. What are the benefits that Dogfinity brings to uh, its holders? A lot of things. Like, first of all, we think the most valuable thing of an NFT project is the community and the team's ability to generate value for its community and to generate awareness for that uh, for that project. I think what, what made Board Ape or Azuki or Cool Cat successful was not, for example, the promise of a metaverse. Like these things can come through time, but uh, in the beginning, you need to create a, a strong community that can attract more members and you need to start like rewarding your community. So our main focus in the beginning has to be attract good community members. The more we work to generate awareness of the internet computer, the, the easier it has been to attract good community members that are passionate about the internet computer and want to see us grow. Once we, we help onboarding like thousands and hundreds of thousands of users to the internet computer, they will see that, okay, these guys, they, they have a very strong community and they, they help make this come through. So uh, this should be very valuable for NFTs. Now, of course, our NFT will have utility as well. So we have been developing merch. We have released already like videos of our hoodies. We have sent a hoodie already to someone who wanted a hoodie of ours in a giveaway. And uh, we're going to keep developing merch. And the NFTs will give access to exclusive merch and to discounts for this merch. The NFTs will also give access to the DAO of Dogfinity, the DAO. They will enable governance. And our DAO will, be, will have 30% of mint proceeds and 50% of secondary sales royalties going to this community wallet where people will be able to keep funding initiatives for the movement. We're also going to airdrop a very limited and exclusive collection of trophies to 50 people be between those who mint and those who hold the Dogfinity NFTs. We're also going to activate a launch with 100 ISPIN rewards if the Dogfinity Mint is successful. And people have the ability to have their dog feature, feature in our viral video. So that's something that we want to work to develop it soon, like this, this method for people to compete to have their dog feature in our, in our videos because we, we plan to keep exploring like this type of content and uh, creating content to generate awareness. That's what, what is happening, for example, with our Coin Bureau view. So on the thumbnail, there's the detective dog. He probably reached about like 30,000 views and that makes it very desirable for your NFT to be seen by so many people. A hundred percent. I agree with what you said, like uh, what led uh, like Board Ape and the other like huge projects, what made them huge was the community management and the community behind it. So that's a very good point. What are your major goals for uh, your project? And what are you planning to do if the collection sells out or if the collection doesn't sell out? This is a this is a long-term project that we're in. Uh, we're really in here for the long haul. So the collection selling out right out the bat or not will not you know stop us from 
from seeking the mission, which is building the community, you know, producing high quality and well-researched content, keeping the, the rays, the views, the content and, and everything, you know, happening so as to bring the message out. We're going to keep doing dope stuff. We're going to keep developing merch. This is going to happen uh, no matter if we sell out or not, right? One thing that might not happen if we don't sell out is, for example, we might not be able to sponsor big content creators and influencers. For example, there's this guy who has a very big newsletter that we wanted to fund with some of, of the funds. We wanted to sponsor him so that he would cover the internet computer and probably include Dogfinity there, generating huge awareness. This might not happen if we don't uh, manage to, to sell out. But the major goals for our project is to build a very strong community in the, the internet computer and to grow awareness of the internet computer. I think we're, we're already doing that. People are recognizing the value that we can bring and that we are already bringing. We've also applied to a Definity a community grant with the Definity Foundation. And we are on the last steps with them, just waiting the final okay. I think it's very likely we're going to get it. We're very passionate about the internet computer and we're here to make it grow and to build a very strong community and to, to create a lot of value for Affinity NFT holders. And the personal objective of mine is, is really to get the community on board. We want to come to a point in which what we are producing, our team specifically, is a, a mere fraction of everything that the community is outputting, right? That all, all, all the, the, the campaigns and, and, and the news that and everything that's coming out, it show, sure, it, it will be great if we can kind of tie it up to back to Docfinity, but we really want to give people the tools to bring the word out. And, and in the future, that's, that's going to be like a, a personal objective of mine to make sure that this happens and, and comes through. And I think this far you guys have proven that you are here to stay, and I think that's very good. And now solidifying it with a Definity grant, which means that you, like to Definity, are now doxxed. So now even more, they should bring like more attention and more trust to your project. And I think that's very good. Yeah, we are doxxed with Definity and Entropo Tonic Labs, and also with a few other community members. And I think that will give people confidence that you guys are here to stay and to build your community even further, which is very important. For sure, definitely, for definitely. Sure. So you mentioned merch. Can you give us more uh, details about that and like also your launch date and maybe the mint price if it's public? Yeah. Yeah. So um, the merch we're really passionate about. It's it's something that is the it's coming along. We're getting up new designs and um, there's going to be you know public merch and, and NFT holder exclusive access merch uh, and that's actually something that's really cool as well. We feel like people want to you know put the shirt on and um, really make uh, themselves, you know, part to the public and, and bring awareness to what they're doing and what they're part of, because that's just one of very passive and simple ways to bring awareness. But if you can do that with awesome designs and, and really good art, uh, it's it's also so much more rewarding. Yeah, the, the merch is already pretty sick. We are also working on new designs to make very cool merch. And recently, Bob was asking for more places to buy the Finity merch. So you see, there's a, a big space in the market there, and we want to explore it to develop a lot of attractive merch. So first we started developing our hoodies. The next steps will be more stickers and hats, and then we can start building from there. And the launch date is May 9th on Entropole. That's the date when you can be early as well and join Dogfinity. And what about the mint price? Is it public yet or? The mint price is not public, uh, but it will be below two ICP, uh, but we will soon release the, the full details. Awesome. So you guys have a Discord, you guys have a Twitter, where else can people find you guys? So we have a Twitter, we have a Discord, we have a Discover portal, we have a district, we have an Instagram page, we have a YouTube channel, we have also a TikTok page. So I think we're everywhere. Uh, we plan to be everywhere to bring more people to the movement, to bring more people to the internet computer. And please join Dogfinity. Let's be early. Let's make this ecosystem grow. And if you want to be uh, in a community with the biggest IC advocates, like people who are building the internet computer, who are making it grow, join that community. Uh, what can people expect to mint? Like how many attributes are there? How many layers? Like are there any legendary uh, uh, dogs in the collection? Total, we have 3969 NFTs. Most of those we're going to be selling. We have only around 30 to be dropped or so. And we're going to be selling and buying them on Entropo on May 9th. Uh, we have more than 200 attributes. We have eight legendary ones. And these dogs come in all different shapes and sizes. We have aliens, we have robots, we have a Motoko, a legendary Motoko one. We have those who are dressed as monkeys. We have 
they have everything. So check them out. Do you have any uh, more like big partnerships coming up? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, we're, we're cooking up a few big videos that should help, you know, really make it uh, Web3 as a whole more more understandable. We're doing that as a collaboration. We're reaching out constantly and uh, we also welcome anyone that's, that, that wants to collaborate to, to reach out to us. We'll definitely be eager to, you know, talk a little bit and, and see what we can come up with. To be more specific, we're actually talking with another crypto YouTuber and providing them our internet computer comprehensive report so that they can make a video about the internet computer, which they haven't done. We also recently raided the whiteboard crypto discord. So he sent them this internet computer comprehensive report so that they also make a video about the internet computer. They are also a very big YouTube channel, which they never done a video before. If we have a successful mint, we plan to sponsor this big newsletter slash podcast slash crypto VC guy, which should have some interests aligned with the internet computer. We have a lot of things on, on the pipeline. I think we don't want to announce everything yet, uh, but, but there's so much like we can do because this ecosystem is still so small and the world is not out there that uh, we're very excited. In addition to our own and exclusive content. So we're talking about like Instagram reels, TikTok videos, more YouTube shorts and so on. And what I love about you guys is that although you're a new project, you were not, you know, shy and, you know, not showing your face everywhere. I love that you guys went all in and, you know, your mission is to spread awareness about the internet computer. So that's really good. Awesome, yeah, yeah, the internet computer needs it. And thank you. Thank you for bringing us here. And yes, please join our Discord and definitely follow us on Twitter and join our Discover portal. I will be joining those. Is there, like, before we go, is there anything else you would like to share about your project that maybe we didn't touch? Join us on Entrepo May 9th. Be early to Web3. Join Dogfinity. You are early. Join Dogfinity. This was the Dogfinity team, which I think is really cool. My name is Alex. You just took the Definity pill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with a friend and click the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.